So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2021 and a happy and a prosperous new year to you all. I hope we have a better year than 2020 and we all do well in life. So, the accolade for the first review of 2021 goes to the house of detailing with these fine three products that we're going to look at today so we're going to be looking at their mighty wash which is their concentrated luxury shampoo we're going to be looking at nano seal which is their um, ceramic luxury ceramic sealant and norba wax okay which is their canuba spray wax and um, now the temperature is about three degrees all right so it's a good test for them um, and we're going to do our normal safe wash process we're going to wash the wheels we're going to use a citrus uh, pre-wash and snow foam and then we're going to come on to testing this one here which is the mighty wash uh, super con super concentrated luxury shampoo so let's get started so like we said first review of 2021 um i'm gonna do it on my car because it needs a bit of a clean so Lots and lots of dirt on it, okay, all around the wheel arches and the lower trim as well. Okay, so a good test for the shampoo. And the gritters have been ran quite a lot, so no doubt lots of sort of salt deposits on the vehicle as well, which we, as we all know, want to get rid of as soon as we can. Okay, so like we said, we're going to clean the wheels, do a citrus pre-wash, which is pH 8, so slightly alkaline citrus pre-wash, and then use a pH neutral shampoo and see where we go so uh, let's do the time warp thing <laughs> So guys, that's the car citrus pre-washed and snow foamed, okay, that uh, non-contact part of the wash, okay, so the whole idea is to get as much of the sort of grit and dirt off before we would physically come on to what's now called the contact wash, where we're physically contacting the, the uh, vehicle. Now, two bucket method, as we all should know by now, clean water and the shampoo and a good quality microfiber wash mitt as well. Now. House of Detailing's Mighty Wash. First thing I will say is on all three of these products we're reviewing today, really good packaging, okay? A nice strong plastic, good quality caps, and all three smell gorgeous. Now this one, oh, it's a gorgeous smell, okay? Lovely, lovely smell. I think it's cherry, okay? I think it's cherry. So, um, first impression's really, really good. Nice labelling, nice packaging, okay? A good start, gives you that confidence, all right? Um, the other two um, that have got the spray guns, um, the spray nozzles on, and um, good uh, quality spray nozzles as well, all right? I see um, a couple of um, detailing brands at the moment whereby the, the nozzles are really, really cheap, okay? Um, and, and that annoys me, really, okay? You need the nozzle to at least last the duration uh, as to how long you're going to have the product for. And a good, uh, you know, I'd rather spend 50p or a pound more on getting a good quality packaging and a nozzle that's going to work, okay? So that's my opinion on that one. Now, this is super concentrated. It does say on the instructions to use on an average size car um, sort of four pumps, okay? Um, at four pumps now, it hasn't got a pump on, so I did contact them and they, uh, the guy said on a big sort of bucket like this, probably about 25 mil. So um, I'm just going to show you how much you need. I'm just going to get my, my scale. There it is. Okay, and this is how much you need. So I'm just going to go up to the first line. No, my bucket isn't full. So that's it. That is all you need. 
um, and it, we've used this on a couple of cars I mean in fact sh during the shampoo bit um, and we're going to show you another um, sort of clip um, of the vehicle this vehicle when it was really really dirty as well okay just to show you the sort of cleaning power all right so it is one of the thicker ones as you can see all right now a lot of these concentrated ones generally are quite thick all right so um, what you're going to need to do is this product will naturally sink to the bottom of the bucket you're going to have to sort of volumize it and agitate it with your pressure washer which I'll do in a minute now because it is quite thick it does stick into a container if you're using it but you'll naturally get used to sort of a calibrated tilt and a squeeze all right but the beauty of these <coughs> these products are they are concentrated so you're going to get some you know good value all right, so I'm going to get all that out of my measuring jar like that and like I said I'm just going to volumize it to see how much suds we've got so as you can say see very very concentrated now um, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, what can you, how can you review a shampoo? There is quite a lot of stuff. Um, the first thing is the amount of suds, all right? Um, and the first check I do is just how does it feel on the wash mitt? Okay, I want that creamy texture, almost, um, so, you know, that it super lubes your uh, wash mitt. All right, now the main sort of thing I look for when I'm looking at a um, shampoo is the amount of suds, okay, and the amount of lubrication in it, because when you are applying this, okay to your vehicle there could be some st dirt still on it so you want the lubricants in the shampoo to encapsulate the dirt all right so when you do touch the vehicle all right any dirt and grit is encapsulated by the lubrication inside the shampoo and that's going to reduce your chances of actually scratching your vehicle because this is what really when the damage is done okay the contact wash and drying part of your wash wash program all right but this one here you can see 20 mill millilitres in a big bucket of water loads and loads of suds another thing you want to look for as well is how long do the suds stay on the vehicle All right, I've used some shampoos it just disappears but you can see there is a good degree of loiter there so that's naturally almost acting like a snow foam in itself okay, it's going to be taking okay, and sort of getting rid okay, of the dirt etc so with this one effortlessly getting rid of the dirt which is clearly what you want that's the main purpose of a shampoo to get rid of the main dirt but that is super 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 slick so I think the main sort of feature of this is its amount of lubrication and its concentration it's really really good right. lovely and smooth you don't want any resistance there as soon as you start feeling resistance that's essentially the grit between the paint and your wash mitt it, does, it means your shampoo isn't lubricated enough or you've got the wrong concentration All right. so really really slick that All right, that is packed with lubrication right so I'm going to put this on a time warp now I'm happy okay I'm going to do the whole of the car and then we'll uh, come back and have a little look
Okay folks, so that's it all jet washed down. Um, really, really nice, safe shampoo to use. So um, really, really, really good. So we're on to uh, product number two, which is the House of Detailing Norba Wax, which is their Canorba Spray Wax. Um, so a quick reader description, um, ultra, uh, ultra slick quick wax spray, um, lays down a thin protective coating of canola wax and gloss enhances polymers. So this one's going to top up a car that's already been waxed or as a standalone product, okay, just putting a bit of wax down, a bit of protection, okay, after you've washed your car. Now, two ways you can use this. You can use it wet after washing your car, okay, to give that sort of a just waxed look, okay, or you can dry your car down fully and then apply it as a normal spray wax. So um, essentially we're going to be using this as a uh, as a, um, a, a drying aid on this little test, okay, uh, and see what the results are. So um, one thing I would do like is really fine spray, all right, which is good. So sprayed a liberal amount down. All right, and it's always good to use a detailing spray or something like this as part of your drying process because this is where a lot of damage is done. Just adding a bit of lubrication between your drying towel and the paintwork. Now that was effortless. No smearing. A couple of sprays, that's all you need if you're using a product like this as a drying aid. as easy as that. So essentially if you're short for time, it's a good way of enhancing your drying process and putting a bit of wax down. So we're going to go on to, um, I'm going to dry the car down uh, with this and then we're going to go on to using it as a dedicated spray wax. So good times. So folks, that's it um, dried, essentially using this as a drying aid and also as a quick sort of spruce up, all right, to um, sort of bring up um, the wax levels on this car. This car was waxed a few months ago. Okay, but the things to notice is obviously if you're using this while the car's wet, it is diluting down those polymers in the canorba, okay, so you're not getting the full sort of benefit of it, okay, but if it's enhancing your safe um, sort of drying process, um, big win. Um, now entering this does say that it is not temperature, it's temperature temperature insensitive which is just as well because the temperature is plummeting it must be about two degrees now and this is performing well so especially as we're going over the winter months etc um, this is a good product to use because we know it's going to operate under those um, quite harsh um, conditions approaching freezing okay so we're now going to reset the camera and we're going to use this as a spray wax and see how we got on Okay folks, and so we're now going to use the House of Detail in Noble Wax as a, as you would a traditional um, spray on wax. So instructions are quite simple, you can either spray into the panel or onto a microfiber um, and then buff off. There's no cure times mentioned, um, there's no mention of leaving it on, etc. So it's quite a, a simple spray on take off. Okay, so I'm just going to do this bit here and we'll see how we get on. Um, so, you know, I like to spray onto the microfiber. I don't like overspray, and it gives me a, a, a great degree of control. Lovely smell. Okay, there is a bit of grab. You get that with pretty much most spray waxes. You know, you shouldn't really compare it to a, a, a clean cloth on clean, clean paintwork, uh, paint, paint because you are, you have got a, a product being applied to the paint. There's nothing major. It's not as grabby as quite a lot of the ceramic sprays you get. Okay, so it's nice and easy on. Right, and then I always buff off with a, a plusher one. Like I said, it doesn't say anything about leaving it on, it just says put on and take off. So that's what we're going to do as per the instructions. Effortless. Nice and easy. So I'm just comparing the two panels. Okay, it has enhanced the gloss a bit. It's not one of these ones I don't think that are packed with sort of gloss enhancers, but 
the main thing I'm looking for on this is we're applying protection and bringing up the paint a bit and it definitely definitely has right nice and easy to use so really really good really really good excellent excellent so I'm now going to do the rest of the car okay with the normal wax I will leave the center of the bonnet for the ceramic spray and do a sort of comparison so I want to see the difference in terms of hydrophobicity and final finish between this and the ceramic spray um, and it's my car so I can do that all right so we'll crack on we'll time walk me finishing the rest of the car but leaving the center of the bonnet clean So that's us finished applying the normal wax to the car as a dedicated spray wax and really 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 happy with that um, so the gloss sort of sunlight or condition to show you the gloss but definitely enhanced that so without a doubt there's gloss enhancers in there um, I like the fact that we've applied some protection to the vehicle all right sort of see the reflection there now one thing I did notice is I probably was spraying on too much once you're if you're using the spray onto the cloth technique as soon as that um, cloth is wet with product you do not need to apply much more um, and if you're doing it um, spraying it onto the panel I would say just one light spritz um, it is it's very very concentrated product right so initially I was probably using a bit too much um, but sort of got got the feel for it um, and cracked on but really really happy with that so I've just taken a temperature check it's two degrees and this product is performing very very well um, performing how you'd expect it just on a normal day actually so as a winter use product um, very 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 um, reliable so really really good that's a de de detailing knobble wax we're going to reposition the camera and try out the ceramic coating well the ceramic sealant I should say so folks, we're on to test number three, which is the House of Detailing Nano Seal, their ceramic sealant. So quick look on the um, label, um, super hydrophobic, it's got the SAI, SiO2 contents, um, it's got the latest silicon and siloxane technology, um, creating a ceramic sealant that is quick and easy to use. <coughs> so on to use, so a small amount of nano seal to a polishing pad, work in a cross hatch motion, similar to applying a ceramic coating really, one panel at a time, allowed to cure for five minutes or until the solution has dried to a haze, buff off using a clean microfiber cloth, nice and easy. So we've already done this, um, these two panels with the spray on wax, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do half of this bonnet okay the reason being we can then look at um, whether it's enhanced the hydrophobicity okay so that's the plan all right so we'll have a good comparison of wax uh, silicon sealant okay and plain paint all right we'll see uh, we'll do the water test afterwards and see if there's any any difference all right so um, we're going to apply this to this half of the panel right now bear in mind this is done uh, on the two degrees you can quite clearly see um, all the ice and snow okay everywhere so I'm just going to reposition my camera so you can get a better view all right so we're going to do that side of the bonnet so as per the instructions I like the fact that you, you spring onto a, a pad I like that okay so I've just put right there is quite a bit of grab Right now that might be the temperature or just the product and for that reason I think it's a good idea using one of these pads okay I think if you apply this with a cloth it's going to be leaving the cloth behind okay so that sort of works for me and like I said earlier in this video when you're using these nanotechnology products the ceramics whether it's um, sort of delicate um, ceramic coating or these sprays there's usually a bit of grab all right it's not a negative thing it's just an observation something that you uh, will experience okay that's going on quite nice it's quite a thin it's quite a thin product actually no, I, I did shake this up 
and um, that's another top tip while we're doing this all the products give them a good shake before you apply especially the the wax there is a bit of product displacement there just mix it all together right so that's me gone over to there Right, so I'm going to leave it for at least five minutes. Now, what I might find, okay, is I need to leave it a bit longer because it is cold, and whatever carriers are in on this product might take a bit longer to vent off. But we'll give it five minutes, then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, folks, that's been left on seven minutes, okay, um, until I was happy that it hazed over, probably slightly longer because of the temperatures, etc. So we're just going to. That's coming off nice. That's coming off easier than a lot of these ceramic sprays. Usually, there's a bit of quite a lot of grab, and then suddenly goes smooth. And that's uh, I expected more grab on that actually, which is that's nice, nice and easy to take off. Then nice slick feel underneath. That very smooth feeling underneath. Right, that's probably one of the easiest ones to take off actually. Like I say, although I, man I mentioned grab, it's not a criticism, it's just an observation that when you're dealing with ceramic stuff, there's usually a bit of grab. It's just uh, associated with the product, really. So that's it taken off. Lovely smell coming from that, actually. Nice and easy. It's untreated paint. Yeah, it's definitely slicker. Obviously, you're going to have to take my word for that, but that is. Yeah, definitely slicker, which is good. Right, excellent, excellent, as I say. Right, so we're going to go and get some water. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it on white paint. And see if it has enhanced the hydrophobicity. This is the third take, by the way, because I kept getting that that uh, word wrong. Hydrophobicity. I think I've got it. More or less hydrophobic. That's the easier way. So I'll go get some water, and we'll have a look. So, folks, that's it taken off. So we're going to do the sort of a hydrophobicity test. We're going to do a sort of sheeting and then a beading. Um, but don't tell Jen, but I pinched her indoor watering can. So I'm just going to do a, I'm not sure if you can see it, a comparison. Well, that's untreated paint. Not much hydrophobicity there. Yep, definite difference. So the claim isn't false, so that's untreated. Yep, and that's cleared, and that's still clearing, still clearing, still clearing. That's all gone, and beads left. So really, really good. So I'm going to go and get the pressure washer and just uh, do that check as well. So I'll just do, I'm not going to edit this bit, I'm just going to get it done. Pure sheet of water, nothing, just beading and dripping off. That is still a full sheet of water, it's still clearing, it's still clearing, that is all gone. What I'll do just to aid you in seeing, I'm just going to try and do this in one take. Okay, so. All sheeting. That's just beads. So beads, beads, beads. Water stuck to the untreated paint. I'm trying to make this as open and honest as possible. Beading. That water is still still clear and you can see the sort of tide mark there, but nothing such there. 
So that's as open and honest, I'm just dropping the pressure off, open and honest as I can make it. And there, massive, massive difference. So I'm really pleased with that. I like it when I test a product <coughs> and it does what it says. So just waiting for this car to go past. In fact, you can see, I'm going to show you again, actually. I'd usually edit this out, but I just want to show you. Nice tight beads. So beads, I'm not lying. Beads, beads, beads. Water still t stuck to the paint. Definite, definite difference. So I'm really happy with that. And like I said, when a product makes a claim, and we're reviewing it, there's no point in lying. Um, we want you guys on the car boutique to listen and watch our reviews, take the recommendation, go out and get similar results. That's the whole idea of the group. So really, really happy with that. I'm now going to do um, pack the stuff away because it is starting to snow. We've only just made it. Um, and we'll do a wrap-up video summarising these three products from the House of Detailing. Okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, running out of daylight. Right, so, house of detailing. What do we think? We think good things. Okay, so I'm going to make this quick because we sort of discussed a lot of it. So, first of all, house of detailing, mighty wash. All right, sells itself as a highly lubricating and highly concentrated um, shampoo. It, it is, okay. Um, I've done three washes with this and it's down to there. Okay, so super, super concentra concentrate, which is good in itself. However, the main thing is um, lots and lots of lubrication there, so it's a safe wash, all right? Whatever solvents are in there, it's um, sorry, detergents are getting rid of the dirt as well. Okay, so you're removing that final bit of the dirt after your citrus pre-wash and your snow foam safely and effectively, and it smells lo lovely, so nothing really bad to say about that one. The next one we looked at was the House of Detailing Norba Wax. All right, um, very, very slightly clingy, but that's just an observation. Um, definitely enhanced the gloss, okay, but it does have sort of gloss enhancers, uh, gloss enhancing polymers in there, and sort of made the, made the white sort of pop a bit, right, more so than the ceramic, okay. So in terms of um, sort of um, product description, what it claims to do, okay, on the money, okay, it does enhance gloss, um, and with a bit of wax, it's gonna be um, a bit of protection as well. The um, nano seal, which is their SiO2 or their ceramic um, sealant, um, the main sort of emphasis on this one is the hydrophobic protection. Um, blatantly obvious, okay, it enhanced the um, uh, hydrophobicity um, of the paintwork, all right, um, very, very noticeably. So, in terms of all three, um, what they claim to do is on the money. There's no overclaiming or false sort of promotion there whatsoever. Um, now, in terms of these two, the sort of the, the Canorba spray wax and the ceramic sealant, um, both you can use as standalone products, which is good. Um, I personally, if I had a waxed car, would use the Canorba spray wax as a wax top up. Conversely, if I had um, a ceramic coated car, I'd probably use the ceramic sealant as a, as a ceramic um, sort of top up as well. The one thing I will say about this, this is it is a sealant, okay, so the majority of sealants, including this one, to get the longevity um, or the worth out of the product, you really need um, to be concentrating on that clean paint work, all right, so if you are, do have a car, go use some panel wiper IPA, get that paint as clean as possible, which will give this sealant an opportunity to bond to the paintwork and give you sort of um, longevity out of the product, all right. The car that we did on the TT did have a, um, some wax on it, so um, probably not ideal, okay, so my advice to you is it is a sealant, it's meant to be there, um, sort of bonding to um, your paintwork, okay, to give that longevity and protection, and then arguably you can use that, okay, as a top-up. All right, okay, so you're getting sort of hydrophobicity and protection and also the sort of gloss, all right, so as a combination, they certainly work well. So it's my Carbotique's first exposure to the house of uh, detailing products, and the thing I like about these is we've tested them at, looking on the dashboard now, one degrees, so it was between four and one degrees when we tested these three products, and they all performed very, very well. Um, 
Additional observations, when I used the spray on wax, I initially did use um, too much. Um, that's probably because it was so cold and sort of the carriers weren't venting off as quickly, so you probably won't have that problem in the summer months. But if you are using it in temperatures such as this, less is more. You really do not need that much at all, okay, to give you a fine chance to buff it off. All right, so um, really, really um, impressed with these. I am going to continue using these over the, over the winter months, and I'll be interested to see how they perform in the summer months as well, okay? Arguably, if they're performing in sort of two degrees, they're going to perform well in the summer as well. you just got to adjust the amount you apply um, to the paintwork. So if you haven't already um, subscribed to us on um, YouTube, please do. All right, and um, I wish you once again a happy new year and take care.